Chris here, and this is another quick tip of the week, brought to you by FPVStyle.com. This week I wanted to talk about something that is uh, more common in flying wings, and you won't really see it in any other aircraft, and that is reflex. Reflex is used to stabilize flying wings and actually give them a little preloading on their uh, airfoil. So what it's doing is it actually creates a slight drag on the top, so that in a traditional plane, that would be the same as having negative flaps. Um, I'm not quite sure what those are called. I'll have to research it for you guys. But basically, it's having your elephant tilted up slightly. This is actually way beyond what it needs to be. It's usually only a, a few minor degrees because um, you don't want it completely level. Now, cores that are already cut, uh, like the Buffalo from FBSL.com or any of the uh, uh, Zeta aircraft or any of your others, right wing, any flying wing companies, they actually form it into the airfoil to have reflex already. But if you're building your own, we don't form airfoils. So we have to get a buy with what we want. Like this one is a KFM2. Uh, amazing airfoil that is uh, often overlooked, but I could probably take just about any flying wing duration wise with this because it will fly forever. Single 2200 milliamp battery, 45 minutes. And that's on the power the whole time. But back to reflex. Reflex is basically like having a slight elevator up all of the time. And what that does is it creates that additional drag that makes sure that the aircraft in the back has a slight drag to it so that you don't get any yaw effect. There's a lot of times where if you build a flying wing that doesn't have any reflex in it, you'll notice that it'll have wag or it'll just have strange tendencies to it. And if you start mixing in a little bit of reflex and adjusting your CG, you'll notice that it'll really lock in and uh, fly much better. So learning how to uh, add reflex in on home-built flying wings is a great way to get better at FPV or RC for that matter, even if you don't want to fly at FPV. So check out Reflex, do a little bit of your own research. If you have any questions, let me know. Check back soon for another quick tip of the week.